Great, greetings everybody. Welcome to another video. Now today we are going to be doing a educational purpose video. This is a tutorial slash educational video for exactly how you would start playing the JP version in the easiest possible way. Now for the sake of this video and just my own kind of protection, I do not recommend this. I do not um, condone this. I do not uh, agree with this. Uh, this is just for educational purposes if people are interested in how this generally would work. All right, now with that being said, we're going to be covering two different versions today, two different options for things that you can do because the way that if you were to play JP, you essentially need a Google Play JP account. That means you need to have one essentially set up with a phone number in Japan so that you can actually technically legally be in Japan and therefore it is okay. Now, in this video, I'm not going to be covering Google Play methods of actually creating an account. Uh, that will potentially be a separate video as well as phone related options. This is for the PP uh, method only and this is meant to be one of the easier ways uh, to potentially do this. If you were to look at the, just, you know, the easiest way of possibly doing this, this is essentially it. Also, for the sake of this video, I am making the assumption that you, the dear viewer, have already decided on your emulator of choice. I do not necessarily believe that any of the emulators is particularly the best to recommend for Wotiv. Uh, I know that there are some people out there who use different ones, so please feel free to choose whichever emulator you look at, want whichever one's best on your system. LD Player is the one that I use and I know other people use for, um, uh, for playing on PC. It generally works very well for Wotiv right out of the box without too much tinkering around or almost any tinkering. For so that is a generally potentially pretty good for most people. Um, however, uh, if you are having problems running your emulator, please do look at some of the guides out there for whatever your system or hardware is. I cannot cover every single one and there are a bunch of already uh, tutorial videos and problems out there. Please do use your own best ability to figure out what you are having any technical problems. You can drop a comment in the uh, comment section below and I can try and potentially help. However, again, technical tech why setup is not necessary. Easiest. So let us get into it. I believe I've covered everything that I need to. Let's talk about actually. So here we are. We already have our emulator installed. And as you can see, there's nothing on it. There is no applications. There's nothing that we are doing right now. So we are ready to go with a fresh install and we're just leaving the emulator open we don't need it actually at this point what we are going to do is we are going to open our web browser of choice we're going to search votive apajp now this is generally important as you do not want to get the jp version you want or sorry the global version you want to get the jp version and there are two versions floating around out there on different websites so if you search directly through this, this will not necessarily be the op option. We want to make sure that we have the right version and we want to look for this right here. This is essentially the what is used for the title of the Japanese app. So this is the correct one. If you are looking at it right now at the time of this recording, it has Final Fantasy IX on it as there are still a few days left in Final Fantasy preparation. Click download APK, it will bring you towards another link where you will click to download again. The file is roughly 150 megabytes. It will download onto your PC in your designated location and then you will be good for the step. Which brings us back to our emulator. Leaving our emulator open, what we are going to do is we are going to take that file that has been downloaded and just drag and drop it right into the emulator. Nothing really that difficult at all. All we are essentially doing is just wherever that file is downloaded, we are going to pick it up, drop it into the emulator. The emulator itself will parse the file and install the application on here. Now, at this point in time, 
We do not have a Google Play account on our emulator, but we are able to open, download, and play the application fine. Now, special note, if you are doing this method, you would need to re-download the APK every time a new version of the app comes out. That is any time that a collaboration happens, any time a collaboration ends, or the middle of the month. So please note, very, 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 very important. Anytime you are using this method, you do need to download the APK again. So it would probably be smart if you were to actually bookmark that website that you downloaded your original APK from, since that will update relatively quickly, although sometimes it can take a little bit of time for the website to get the new APKs. So please be patient with it. it might take a little bit longer depending on the day or what it is. But as you can see right now, we have a brand new account that is ready to play. We are not going to be starting a new account in this video. That will be a separate video. But we are the current version 11.4.08.8, sorry. And we are ready to start playing the game. Okay. So uh, just one second, I will be right back and we will talk about one other. All right, now talking about the secondary method that would be available for you to get Wotiv on your uh, emulator without downloading a secondary or without needing a Google Play account or anything would basically be the Quo app. The Quo app is its own little shop and store that is separate from Google Play, but still has it accessible for a lot of different apps. You go into it, it basically loads up its own storefront. It's a little bit on its side right now. Also, we are not promoting any of these things, but um, there are advertisements. And if you are searching on here, sorry for it being on its side, if we just search FFBE, as you can see, we can potentially find the different versions. We have both the global version right here, as well as the JP version. We go into the JP version. Uh, you just scroll down. You will be able to add the application, download it. You will also just directly update it through here as well. So the Quo app is a potential alternative way to download and enjoy JP version and updated from a different front. It does not require of going to AP sites and download, but it does require you to download and install the Quo app on your emulator, which again is relatively easy and not too terribly difficult. In a similar way, you just go to Quo app, download the Quo app game store application, drag and drop into your emulator and you are good to go. It also provides for me personally, I have used it to update the app from other versions. So if you start doing uh, playing Final Fantasy, what would it brave XP is <laughs> quite a mouthful. If you start playing it on the uh, through the APK method, you can actually switch to Quo app later for downloading and installing updates as well. That is completely up to you, uh, dear viewer, if you want to that method. But there you go. That is essentially it. These are the easiest methods of playing this without a Google Play account. Again, you do not need a VPN for it. I do not condone, nor do I, I guess, recommend. But uh, this is a very quick and easy way to starting on the AP side. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And like, subscribe, all of that stuff. Boy, I did that for once. Uh, the difference. Take care. See you later.